In this video, we're going to take a look at Sterling Dunshire, and we're going to use the Above the Tie SE2 new and revised version once again today. Hey there folks and welcome back to another shaving video and again today we're going to use Sterling Dunshire and this is a take on um, Aquadigio by Armani I believe. Really really nice scent, scent strength about medium, um, maybe a little over, about a six. It is inspired by the scent, it's not necessarily a dead ringer. Again Dunshire, uh, the scent is very nice, I like it a lot. It comes to you at just over two dollars an ounce which is Phenomenal, and once again, you see me going with Sterling because it's just a phenomenal product. Um, <clears throat> in the brush here, we have the Sterling Kong, which is, to my knowledge, the first of the affordable larger knots in the Plasson type uh, knot. Let's get a little more water. There's the soap, by the way. Um, get a lot of questions about why I choose to use the Plasson type knot, and I own it almost exclusively. I only own two other knot types um, other than the Plasoft, Plasson type knot, and that is one badger that was sent to me as a gift by a friend. Um, and the other one is a Wolf Whiskers Ubersoft version one. And I prefer these knots by quite a bit. The Plasson slash Plasoft type of knots. Why? They just work for me. I don't have to, you know, make a make an effort to bend them to my will. They just do what I need them to do without a lot of coaxing or anything of the sort. And so when something works well, I stick with it. And so over the years, I can't tell you the amount of money I've wasted for me on high-end badger brushes, m &F, Simpson, Thater, you name it, I've had them. And uh, Rooney, you know, the whole lot and it turns out that brushes like this that were around 20 bucks and less work far better than any of those brushes ever did for me just my preference you may feel differently and that is okay okay we have a great load let's uh, wet the face and get going stay tuned all right so once again today we'll be using our above the tie the new version of the se2 and I want to emphasize that it has changed since the original version. Um, there is more aggression. I used it yesterday. Had a magnificent shave. I do look at it as an improvement. Um, it is more aggressive, like I say. So it's not at the bottom of the list in terms of, of uh, aggression. It's probably the most aggressive single edge, uh, artist club style single edge razor that I have used personally. But that doesn't mean it's anything to fear or anything like that. Because I got an outstanding shave with it. And I'm sure I will again today. It's good to be with you guys again today and gals. Um, I do get um, emails and so forth from women from time to time. And they sort of get drug into <laughs> watching my videos. Oh, that's nice. Let me show you this before I... that. There it is. If you can see that, there's your new SE2. Um, the combs are quite a bit different. The comb is quite a bit different than the original. Anyhow, I understand there are a lot of wives and girlfriends and significant others that get roped into watching my videos because their husband is uh, <laughs> is marrying them to the TV. And so for you ladies, I say both thank you and sorry. Sorry that you have to put up with it and see my ugly mug several times a week or once a week or however often it happens. But uh, hopefully, if nothing else, you're not offended. <laughs> um, I get some questions from time to time about you know, I watch your videos with my husband. We feel like we know you because we see you, you know, every day. And, and that's quite an honor for me, for, for people to watch day in, 
day out like that. Because believe me, and I've always said this, I am about as regular of a guy as you can get. Um, apart from the fact that I stand up what I believe in, which seems to be um, something people aren't doing much these days. Yes, I'm vocal about my opinions, but I'm still very much a regular guy. By the way, right, that right there is not a weeper caused by the razor. I have a little bump right there that I cut, so absolutely not the fault of the razor. That first pass was excellent. We'll come back for pass two. All right, so pass one was very, very nice. Again, you do have that bump there that I opened up, but that is not a fault of the razor. And you can tell the difference. I mean, if you can feel it above the skin, you know you it's a bump. If the skin is perfectly flat and you've got a little bleeding, bleeding that's a weeper or a cut. Uh, I have a few little bumps right now on my neck for whatever reason. And that one has become a victim to the above the time. <laughs> um, but it is no fault of the razor, so please don't let that uh, allow you to think it's too aggressive because it's really not. I'm really enjoying it and it produced a really fine shave yesterday and I expect the same today. And the soap, by the way, fantastic. Excellent, excellent quality. And I am very much enjoying the shave that it provides. Hope everyone is having a good week so far and you're getting your Christmas shopping done and all that. You know, and something that I want to bring up. Yesterday, for example, the Apple AirPods went on sale and they were on sale for about 20 minutes before the, um, before they got backed up to four weeks out. And if you ordered like within 20 minutes, you'll get them um, 21st of December before Christmas. And if you didn't, they're backed out four weeks, like they won't ship for four weeks. And what I noticed immediately is I went to eBay and these things are $159 retail from Apple. And already on eBay, they were up to, they were selling them. They don't even have the item in hand. They've ordered them. And the ones that come in early, like 21 December. And they're selling them for $1,500. You know, that's the high sort of price. Double, triple. And to me, that just, that's, just doesn't set well with me. And I'll talk a little more, bit more about it when we come back. Stay tuned. Excellent second pass, by the way. So anyway, what you have is, and this is going on right now with that Super NES throwback Nintendo system that's $59, and you can see it for as much as four or 500 on eBay because people have them. And because they're out of stock, some people will go and pay those exorbitant prices. Don't do it. I encourage you not to do it. These dinosaur eggs that are hot this year, don't pay more than retail. Every time you pay one of these flippers, douche flippers, more than retail, you encourage them to continue doing that. They're going out and buying stuff that they have no intention of using whatsoever, that they're just going to flip on eBay for double and triple the price. Now, some people will say, well, that's smart. Really, is it? It's around Christmas time. These parents are just trying to buy, you know, the hot Christmas item for their kids. And these people just take advantage. They have no intention of using the item, you know, or giving it away. They buy simply to resell it at exorbitant prices. And in my opinion, if you want to go run a business, go start one. But don't be a sleaze ball trying to hold parents over the barrel before Christmas time because they can't get these items because you go buy them all up to resell them at double and triple. I mean, open a business if you want to do that. That's sort of my take on that. I find it to be sleazy and douchey. And that's just my thought on it. And they've been doing this for a long time and eBay has really encouraged it. And now there are resellers on Amazon that does it too. If you go and look, you know, they're, they're marking up the item five, six, ten times. And it's like, come on, you know, absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, let's get back to the shave here. Um, this is fantastic. You know, beyond that little bump I opened up, which again, not to follow the razor, I really like the way this razor is uh, shaving. And the soap, 
you know, as I crow about every week, is as fine as you can get for the money. So, I am very impressed with all the equipment today, and we will come back and give you the post. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, we're back, and I think we've uh, tamed our cut there with the Razor Rock alum, and uh, normally I would rinse it, but I'm just going to go with the Thayer's. It'll, it'll rinse it. Um, of course, there's always magic made by witches. Great stuff. Does a phenomenal job in my estimation, and then we'll move on to the aftershave. All right. Of course, before we get there, once again, above the tie SE2, new version, more aggressive, uh, working really, really nicely for me so far. Sterling Kong, fantastic, and Sterling Dunshire, um, fantastic. Great on all fronts, and today, we're going to use a Sterling Dunshire um, aftershave, and again, I keep mentioning this. This stuff is usually between $12 and $13, maybe $11 and $13 a bottle. Not $20, not $25. Reasonably priced, sticks around a long time. Tremendous value, in my opinion. All right, let's go with it and see how it smells, how it feels on the face. Oh, yeah. Nice. Again, not a dead ringer for Aquadigio. Not supposed to be, but it is close, and it does smell nice, and I like it. It's a winner for me, so thanks as always, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Until next time, let's make America shine.